Are we ready for second grade math? We're going to be using the 2015 copyright of Go Math for grade two. It has, I think, 774 pages and it is consumable, which means the student can write in it. The publisher is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, but any current grade two textbook can be used. There's also a 2015 practice book of 294 pages that you can get for extra practice if the student needs it. But again, you'd probably be okay with just this textbook and any textbook will do. So this is basically what we should have learned in first grade to represent and solve problems involving addition and subtraction within 20, add within 100, and subtract multiples of 10 without regrouping, like 30 plus 40 is equal to 70, or 80 minus 20 is equal to 60. Understand the use of models and length-based models, and model add to or take from, put together, take apart, and compare situations to develop meaning of addition and subtraction. Do they understand the clue words? How many more? And less than? and all together to use in word problems. They need to understand connections between counting and addition and subtraction, like counting on two is the same thing as adding to or counting back to is the same thing as subtracting to and so on. And use properties of addition to add whole numbers such as making tens. Do they understand place value of ones, tens, hundreds? Understand that subtraction can undo addition, and addition can undo subtraction, like for related facts. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, and 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. They need to think of whole numbers between 10 and 100 in terms of 10s and 1s. Do they know that 70 is 7 tens and 0 ones? They need to understand the order of counting numbers and their relative magnitudes, that 50 comes after 40 and is 10 more than 40. Count by 1s to 120, count by 10s to 120, and understand less than and greater than symbols. Do they know how to write 16 is greater than 10 and understand the symbol for greater than? They need to understand the processes of measurement. Can they tell us that this stick is three inches long and measure to the inch? Building up length of an object with equal sized units and indirect measurement, measuring with non-standard measures like something is two cars long or a house is two trees high. Something is the length of three hands. They need to tell time to the hour and half hour. They don't need to know how to tell time to the minute, but if they do, good for them. They're ahead of everyone. They need to understand picture graphs and what the pictures represent in the graph, and tally charts and how to use tally marks. They need to compose and decompose 2D or 3D figures, 2D plane or 3D solid figures. Can they put two triangles together to make a square, to make a quadrilateral? They need to understand part-whole relationships and the properties of original and composite shapes. Composite shapes are shapes that we put together to make another shape. So this is a rectangle and a square. And recognize combined shapes from different perspectives and orientations. And describe geometric attributes. Does it have straight sides or curves? How many sides does it have? How many corners does it have? and describe how they are alike and different. These are alike because they have straight sides, but they're different because this has three sides and that has four sides. They need an initial understanding of congruence and symmetry. So they don't need to completely understand it, just have been introduced to it and have an initial understanding of it. Do they know equal parts and unequal parts? Equal shares and unequal shares? Do they know halves and fourths of an object. So they need to know their addition and subtraction facts to 20 and know all of them as well and as fast 
as they know 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Someone asks you what 1 plus 1 is, you can answer very quickly. Well, that's 2. That's easy. You need to know 7 plus 8 that quickly, 8 plus 6 that quickly, 12 minus 7, and the other addition and subtraction facts to 20. If you do know them, if your student does know them, they will have a very easy time in second grade math and it will prepare them even for third grade math. If you're confident that your child has learned these concepts in first grade, then they're ready for second grade math. So you can follow along with the textbook and it even has chapter tests and a lot of practice or someone could even watch this playlist without a textbook at all. But the textbook will help make sure it sticks in your memory all the lessons you've learned. So let's start second grade math and I'll see you for our first lesson. Bye!